Welcome to this NMP flight video tutorial. This video will look at the flight menu items, which is the blue bar at the top of the screen. The first option is the new flight query. If you select that, it will take you back to the starting situation for the application where you can put in the criteria and launch a new flight query. The second option is saved flight lists where if you have any saved flight lists they'll be in the list and you can select one of them and launch that saved flight query if you don't have any saved flight lists that option will be grayed out the next menu item is the e-help desk which opens the main e-help desk screen where you'll see any e-help desk requests for your organization. The next one is the information hub where you have access to the operational information on the European Aviation Network. The next option is the free text editor where you can paste in a flight plan and validate propose routes or file to IFPS. Then you have the IFPS flight query, which is very similar to the main flight query. However, this option gives you the information that's stored in the flight planning database of IFPS. The nav editor is the next option, which is very similar to the free text editor. However, with this option, you can access future air racks. The final main menu item is the route catalog, which gives you access to the historically filed routes over the last year. On the far right, you have an option menu where you have access to shared configurations, import queries, and validate company routes. All of these options that I've mentioned here today will be explained in more details in other video tutorials. Thanks for watching.